Stardew Valley. I love this game. So I thought it would be really fun to do a 100 days in Stardew Valley video. The only thing is I do not have the attention span to do 100 days in one video. So instead, I'm going to split it up into four parts. One part for each season. Still approaching it as a 100 days playthrough. This is part one of that series. Welcome to spring of year one on 100 farm. Day one. I started with clearing all the fiber from my farm. I went into town and bought parsnip seeds and green beans. I also ran around the valley trying to meet as many people as possible. When it got dark, I panicked because I realized I didn't plant any of my seeds yet. So I rushed back to the farm and planted them all and then slept. Day two, I woke up and watered my crops. I got a letter from Willie saying he wants to meet me at the beach. Before going though, I socialized with the rest of the town. I went to meet Willie and he gave me the power to fish. I found some glass and decided to give it to the local museum, which they gladly accepted, which I don't know why they did, because it's glass. I then, instead of fishing for the rest of the day, foraged and went home. Day three, I cleared some more space on my farm and found a geode. I went to the beach to try clay farm. If you don't know what that is, basically you dig for clay in a specific pattern and it's a good way to get money early game if you know how to do it which I don't. I got no clay. Day four, I went to the beach and successfully clay farmed. I got four pieces. I went back to the farm and cleared some stone. While clearing stone, I found some copper, which was cool. This first season is probably gonna be a lot of me clearing my farm because I don't like it to overgrow. So you'll probably be hearing me say that a lot. Day five, Clint showed up to my house and taught me how to make a furnace. I got a letter from Joja, but that lore is not important because my parsnips are grown. I sold my parsnips and went into town to buy more seeds. But on my way, I bumped into Lewis, who brought me to an abandoned building in the town, saying that Joja is going to turn it into a warehouse if it doesn't get fixed. I see a little guy and find a scroll that I cannot read. I went to the mines that opened up overnight and got to level 10, getting 52 copper ore, a small glow ring, and a magnet ring. Day six, I got a letter from a wizard telling me he can cure my dyslexia if I go visit him. Before I do that though, I went and bought some seeds and paid Robin to build a silo on my farm. I went to the wizard's tower and he made me drink something that definitely did something. I foraged and planted my crops before going to bed. Day seven, I woke up and decided today was the day I go fishing, which I did all day. I fished, I got lots of fish. Day eight, it rained. So I fished some more. I caught a catfish and an eel. I continued to fish for the rest of the day and got to fishing level two. Day nine, Robin finished building my silo. So I cleared a lot of weeds from my farm so it would fill with hay. I decided not to clear all the weeds though as I can easily fill a second one up. After that, I went to the mines to kill slimes for a quest. I almost died in the process, but completed it and made it to level 15 of the mines. Day 10, Marnie showed up bringing a stray cat with her. I adopted him and named him Richard. There was a reason. Can remember it now, but here we are. Welcome to the farm, Richard. I went to Joja Mart to buy parsnips because Pierre was closed. I know. I know. It's frowned upon to buy from Joja. But you gotta do what you gotta do. After that, I went mining and hit level 20. Day 11, Robin sent me a letter saying she lost her axe. I went on a hunt for it and found it in Cinder Snap Forest. I dropped it off on the way to the mines. During my mining trip, I reached level 30 of the mines and got a forest sword, which was really lucky. Day 12, I get a letter saying the egg festival is tomorrow. I sold all my potatoes that grew and went to the mines again. I reached level 40 with almost no food. It was very stressful. I got level three farming and level three mining. Day 13, it was the egg festival. I go to the egg festival and buy 49 strawberry seeds. I took part in the egg hunt and won. Yay. I went home and planted all my strawberry seeds before going to bed. Day 14, my parsnips grew, but none of them were golden star. So I ran to Pierre's to buy more seeds. I'm trying to get these for a bundle in the community center. I'm realizing now I'm halfway through this month and have not explained to anyone who is new here. Basically, when the wizard cured my dyslexia on day six, I was able to read the scroll in the rundown building Lewis showed me. I formed a connection to the little apple people named the Junimos and have been tasked with completing different bundles for them to fix up the building. One of those bundles requires five golden star parsnips. Anyways, back to what I was doing that day. After that, I found the kids of the village playing right outside the sewers, which is lovely and so safe. There's no parents around watching them. I went back to the farm and cleared some trees before heading to bed. Day 15, I woke up and spent the entire day clearing more trees from my farm. 
That was it. That's all I did on day 15. Day 16, I watered my crops and went to go mining. But I noticed there were some berries on the bushes. So I changed my plans and went berry picking instead. I got 96 salmon berries. Not to brag. I spent the rest of the night cutting trees on my farm. Day 17. I went to sell some things to get my axe upgraded. But Pierre was closed. I can never remember when this man is open. Why are you closed in the middle of the week? I went berry picking again. And now have 204 berries. I went to the mines and got to level 45. Day 18. Today I donated all my spring crops and five golden star parsnips to the community center. I bought potato seeds and then went mining and reached level 50. I also gathered some iron for sprinklers. Day 19, I woke up and it was raining. I went mining for the day and as I was recording, my girlfriend came in and began asking a lot of questions and just... I'll just like... I'll let you watch the footage. Enjoy. <laughs> no, not, not one minute. No, no, not 30 seconds. No. <laughs> I'm killing some soot sprites. Because I get coal. What's this? Winter root? You get them in the mines when it's cold. It's just the roots that you can find in the ground. I can have energy. That's why I have 205 berries. <laughs> what? <laughs> yes, my inventory is <gasps> I ate the winter root. That's it's stone. But well, these are crystals. But those are crystals. As well? This? This? It's crystals as well. This? That's stone. Yeah, I'm in the mines, it's all stone. Because I'm in the cave. <laughs> Because they're evil. Because <laughs> I need to defend myself. I killed the bat. I have bat wing now. No. Because I can make a bat. I can make a. No. <laughs> I can. <laughs> I can make a thunder rod. I'm gonna. I'm gonna slice this in. I know my inventory is full. I can't afford an upgrade. Why didn't I have an omni geode? Here. <laughs> you almost got me there. I have to. It's gonna attack me. <laughs> it's not a pet. It's not my pet. It's not your pet. Don't cry. I'm gonna put this bit in the video just so you know. Why? I'm gonna be like, here's an interlude break of my girlfriend when I'm not understanding. Why dead? Uh, almost. It's 8 p.m. Yeah, but I leave the mines at midnight. Is it? Don't stole your spit, please. Do Go do your tooling. Go. <laughs> Got them. Day 20, I spent this day clearing my farm again, chopping down more trees. That was it. Again. Clearing day. Day 21, my strawberries finally grew. I sold them all and went to the mines, gifting Abigail on the way. I got to level 55 of the mines and reached farming level and mining level 4. So, a thing happened. Fortnite Racing broke my GPU, and I couldn't get my PC locked out for a few weeks. This meant me pausing work on this video as I was on a spare PC that had none of my stuff on it. There was a gap, so I had to take a day in-game to like remember what I was doing. This is also the point where I decided to split this video into four parts instead of having it as a 100 days video. Anyways, sorry about that, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Remember to subscribe and like the video. Day 22. My PC is finally fixed. This day was basically me getting my bearings again. I watered my crops and went to Clint to open up all my geodes. I also put my axe in to get upgraded, which I soon realized is a mistake. I donated my geode findings to the museum and set out for the mines. I begin mining with a normal pickaxe at level 55. After only having enough time and energy to go down two floors, I gave up and headed home. I got farming level 5 though and chose chiller. Day 23, I woke up to a letter from Lewis inviting me to the flower dance the next day. I checked how my friendships were going and... Safe to say I'll be dancing alone. I spent the day clearing my farm of any stone and made a tree area for some tappers. Day 24, the flower dance. I tend to my crops before going there. I bought the rare crow and the tub of flowers recipe. I surprisingly danced with no one and then head home. 
Day 25, my crops were finally grown, so I harvested them and sold them. I went mining to try get some gold for sprinklers for the summer, but I got to level 69 before passing out because I couldn't find any stairs. I reached level 6 of farming though. Day 26, I start my day opening geos before heading back to the mines. I get to level 79 before passing out. I couldn't find any stairs again, which was getting to me, but there's always tomorrow. Day 27, I went straight to the mines and finally reached level 80. I spent the majority of that day refreshing level 81 and farming as much gold ore as I could. I ended up getting 54 gold in total, which I felt was a good amount. I headed home and began smelting my gold. Day 28, the final day of the month and of this video. I started smelting all my gold and iron since I know it takes a while and I wanted it all ready for summer. I tidied my farm some more and set up the layout of my sprinklers. I went to Pierre's and bought some extra seeds that I hadn't grown that season in case I needed it for the future and I could always grow them in my greenhouse when it was built. I donated some things to the community center and then did some last minute tidying up on the farm before calling it a night. Thank you so much for watching this video. This took way too long to do because most of the recording was actually done in February and now it's almost May and I just moved and so much stuff was going on. The next time I do like part two of this, it's not gonna take as long for me to do, so do not worry unless Fortnite racing breaks my PC again, <laughs> which I haven't touched it since. So thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to subscribe and like so I know you actually like this style of content and I'll do it again. If you like this, I have another video up which is full like an animatic, quote unquote. It's not animated, it's like like kind of the style of this video without the gaming. This was all also recorded pre 1.6 update and next part will have 1.6 update. I was just too lazy to re-record and redo everything that i had done already thank you for i think we're on 16k now have a wonderful rest of your day thank you to all my patreons who've been scrolling by me this whole video also if you like little goose down there the chicken guy i have stickers of him on my shop you can go check out my merch and all that stuff that i've designed myself Alrighty, bye